I want to quickly summarize where we are at the moment. According to current research, pedophilia is an unchangeable sexual orientation, just like, for example, heterosexuality. No one chooses to be a pedophile. No one can cease being one. The difference between pedophilia and other sexual orientations is that living out this sexual orientation will end in a disaster. You guys ever see some stuff and you're just like, now I gotta deal with this? <laughs> Welcome back, Andrew says, I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at Andrew says TV. I got so many clever things to say, especially stuff about now we got to deal with stuff like this. People said it would get to this point. I didn't want to believe them, believe them. I hoped it wasn't true, but now it's like people want you to accept pedophiles. And I know that's a big, we were going like this and all of a sudden we just went, I think South Park covered this already. Didn't they? It's how they killed off Chef when he was involved with, like, the pedophile thing. Nambla, North American Man-Boy Love Association, a real thing for some reason. But now we got to deal with this. Check this girl out. Just no words. Just watch. But just like pedophiles, we are not responsible for our feelings. We do not choose them. But we are responsible for our actions. And we must make a decision. It is an our responsibility to reflect and to overcome our negative feelings about pedophiles and to treat them with the same respect we treat other people with. We aren't responsible for our feelings. Um, yeah, we are. <laughs> Murderers are just people who like killing. Who are you to say that that's wrong? You must get over the bad feelings for murderers and rapists. Even though she just said we are responsible for our feelings, right? She said we're not responsible for our feelings, but we have to get over our feelings because of how they make the pedophiles feel. Hey, here's an idea. No. <laughs> let's, let's see more. We should accept that pedophiles are people who have not chosen their sexuality and who unlike most of us, will never be able to live it out freely if they want to lead an upright life. We should accept that pedophilia is a sexual preference, a thought, a feeling, and not an act. We should differentiate between child sexual abuse and pedophilia. We shouldn't increase the suffering of pedophiles by excluding them, by blaming and mocking them. Um, why are you guys booing her? Does anybody, does anybody else think about that? By the way, TED Talks, the fact that it's TEDx Talks gives you the idea that it's actually credible and that people really wanted this. But the difference between a TED Talk and a TEDx Talk is TED Talks is the conferencing where they have people together and they get millions of views and everything. TEDx, basically, if you seem like a credible person, they'll let you do it. I had a boss once that... Uh, held a TEDx at a university and literally like 10 people came. Not even kidding. It was in a classroom and it was a TEDx talk. Great to have the title on it. But you know, you can still suck and do it. It's not the same as a TED talk. Um, you don't have to respect insane feelings. If anyone's out there, anyone out there is just like, what is this girl talking about? You don't have to respect insanity. Oh no, they don't get to live out their crazy feelings. That's... That seems terrible. So everyone is, according to this girl, everyone who's crazy thoughts and those thoughts aren't accepted. They're now a victim. It's interesting, isn't it? So what, bro? I like beating up old, old, uh, crippled Asian women in wheelchairs. Uh, respect my feelings. Okay, you gotta get over it. You gotta get over my, my, you gotta get over your problem with my feelings. Because I'm not responsible for my feelings, but you're responsible for your feelings because you don't like my crazy ideas. This is what this girl's saying. <laughs> this is nuts. If there, was ever a t if there was ever a time to hand out tomatoes for to an audience, just in case, 
this was it. And then she's just like, you know, it's not the fault of the pedophiles, and you just need to learn to accept them better. One guy just raises up the tomato in the air, and then as a, are we doing this? And then everyone just starts pelting her with tomatoes. Not too hard. They're, they're almost rotten. They're secondhand tomatoes, so, like, we're not wasting any food. People weren't going to eat them anyways. They're already really mushy and gross. They got the moss on them and everything. And we throw them at these people. Not a real endorsement for violence, you guys. What a great time to ask you to like and share and subscribe. Hit the bell in the corner. I don't even remember every time. It's reversed. Um, donate on Patreon. And if, let's say, I get like 100 patrons, then I will legitimately post a video of me getting tomatoed. If I can find one of those things where you're just ahead in hands in the medieval times, and then people throw tomatoes at me. But... I get to talk about, like, stupid ideas, so I get to say stuff like, respect pedophiles' feelings, I get to say, like, hey, murder isn't that uncool if, uh, it was a crime of passion, you know, like, hunting, what's that scene from, uh, is it Shallow Hell? I don't remember, somebody punts a dog off a bridge? I think it was Jack Black who does it in something. No joke. 100 patrons, and I'll get tomato by myself. Hey, we can reject stupid ideas, by the way, as society. Enough of this stuff where it's just like, you know, everyone has the, that's what this girl's doing. But people, the people who agreed to have her do this, and knowing what she was going to talk about, and the people that were just like, you know, it's just her opinion, that's the people that we need to, you know, disagree with. Because it's just like, at what point are you just virtue signaling for nothing? Like, who's asking you to defend the pedophiles. Is anyone, are pedophiles emailing you and just being like, I'm misunderstood. You know, it's just my feelings. We got to start rejecting the everybody's a winner idea. And if we can do that, then maybe we won't have TEDx talks like this.